Welcome to Michigan in Focus. Powered by thecentersquare.com, this episode features a piece by Center Square Michigan reporter Scott McClellan. Headlined, quote, Expert, nuclear energy could help decarbonize electricity sector, end quote. Here's the story. Michigan's top business group says we can't get to the 100% clean energy standard by 2040 without nuclear energy. The Michigan Chamber of Commerce, Governor Gretchen Whitmer, bipartisan lawmakers, and organized labor support restarting the 800-megawatt Palisades nuclear plant on Lake Michigan's eastern shore, which is expected to return online in 2025. Edward Key, CEO and founder of the Nuclear Economics Consulting Group, said nuclear energy could help decarbonize the electricity industry. Key said in a phone interview, quote, The idea is that by having some portfolio of wind and solar, hydroelectric, storage, and nuclear, you would have a zero-carbon electricity sector. You can't have electricity the way we know it, highly reliable and always available, if you only have these intermittent renewables. End quote. Wind and solar provide intermittent energy when the sun shines and the wind blows, but don't provide the constant baseload energy created by nuclear plants. In 2022, transportation accounted for 28% of total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions by sector nationwide, followed by electric power at 25% and other industries at 23%, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. He appointed to the Federal Nuclear Energy Advisory Committee in 2022 and 2024, called restarting Palisades valuable to forge a regulatory path to restart roughly 11 other nuclear plants that have been closed but not dismantled. If successful, Palisades will be the first decommissioned nuclear plant to reconnect to the grid fueled by a $1.5 billion loan from the U.S. Department of Energy and $300 million from Michigan. In March, Whitmer said Palisades will provide clean, reliable power for 800,000 homes and provide 600 jobs. Michigan enacted a 100% clean energy standard by 2040, but the U.S. Energy Information Administration says renewables provided 12% of state electricity net generation in 2022. Wind energy accounted for about two-thirds of that power. Mike Alamo, Michigan Chamber of Commerce Director of Environmental and Energy Affairs, ranked nuclear's role in the energy transition as extremely high. Alamo wrote, quote, In fact, I would go so far as to say we can't get there without it. End quote. Jason Hayes, Director of Energy and Environmental Policy at the Mackinac Center for Public Policy, said government mandates to build, quote, unreliable wind and solar is destabilizing our electric grid, end quote, and exposing Midwesterners to electricity shortages and higher utility bills. Hayes said in a statement, quote, bringing a completely reliable generation source like the Palisades nuclear plant back online is essential to maintaining a reliable grid and ensuring that Midwesterners have access to reliable energy, especially during periods of extreme weather, end quote. State Representative Graham Filler, a Republican from Clinton County, said the idea Michigan can replace the energy load created by natural gas and coal with wind and solar is completely unrealistic. Filler said nuclear energy provides around 25% of Michigan's energy from two reactors. Filler said in a phone interview, quote, it's the past, the present, and the future when you talk about reliable, powerful, clean energy, end quote. Holtec Decommissioning International, the company that bought Palisades, has signed a long-term power purchase agreement with two energy cooperatives, Wolverine based in Cadillac and Hoosier Energy, according to Nick Culp, the senior manager of government affairs and communications. Both energy cooperatives are part of the Mid-Continent Independent System Operator, which manages high-flow electricity across 15 states and the Canadian province of Manitoba. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. This podcast was made with the assistance of AI technology. Please subscribe and thanks for listening. Do you care about classroom curriculum, transparency policies, and how your taxpayer dollars are invested in education, but you find it hard to cut through the partisan noise? Chalkboard News is bringing you straight news reporting on public K-12 education. We're talking news without spin. Chalkboard News publishes fact-based stories that make sense to parents, teachers, and readers who have skin in the game. Get this news delivered to your inbox for free by signing up at chalkboardnews.com. Subscribe today at chalkboardnews.com.